Okay, so in the next series of videos, what we're going to be looking at is the Sanderson and Harris method outlined in this paper for organizing and analyzing data that you're collecting using camera traps. So this paper actually goes into a lot more detail than you'll actually see in this video. So I do want to encourage you to read the paper as well, but uh, I will go through the basics of <coughs> how it is you go about organizing your data and then analyzing the data, okay? So let me just bring up my recorder. So this is the paper and on the smallcats.org website there are a series of executable files that you can download and in order to carry out the analysis that's being shown within this paper. All right, These would have already been provided to, to a lot of you. So the first thing you want to do is have a look at your raw data. So let's look at an example data set. <coughs> so this is an example data set from Tobago. This is Main Ridge 1. And what you'll realize is that all of the data from this particular camera would have uh, been named I image files, IMG001, etc. Okay, so quite a few files here, right? All the way down to 279. Now, <coughs> the problem with this is that we need unique identifiers for each image in order for these executable files to work. And these executable files work off of the names of these image files. So we need to actually change these names to match the metadata that's attached to this picture. And the metadata that we want to attach to this particular picture, uh, to all of these pictures, deals with the, the year, uh, the month, the day, and the time. Okay, so this is uh, 1.53 uh, p.m. with 1.53 and 5 seconds p.m. Okay, so that's what we want to do. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is you make a copy of your raw data. Do not touch that raw data. Uh, I already have a copy somewhere else. Just make sure that you have a raw data set that you are not changing in any way, shape, or form. The next thing you want to do is actually rename these files. Okay, so <coughs> if I bring up program renamer, which is one of the executable files that you, you need for this particular analysis. Uh, when you first open renamer, you need to set a couple of things up. Okay, so under settings, you go to meta tags. You want to just make sure that your date format is in year, month, day, hour, uh, I don't know why this is NN, but it's MM, being the same thing, SS. And you see that the format is exactly as you want it, okay? year, month, day, hour, minute, seconds. Okay, and that's why we want to change the name of each of the pictures in this MR1 folder too. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and save that. The next thing you need to do is set some presets. So we're going to add some rules. <coughs> so we add an insert rule, sorry, a delete rule, and we want to add till the end. We're going to add that rule. And the next thing we want to add is an insert rule and we want to insert the meta tag and the meta tag we want to insert of course is the exif date okay so we insert that and we're going to add that rule okay so we've just loaded those two presets and we want to save those for future use so we're going to save as you can name it exif date Okay, so that the next time you use this program on your computer, you'll have it, you'll have those presets already. Now the next thing, the next, um, next thing you want to do is actually just copy all of your files. So control A, to select all, and you can drag and drop them over. <coughs> and what you notice is most of the files, they've actually successfully been changed in terms of the name, okay? Uh, some of them 
have not been able to be changed because they're duplicate names and you'll actually have to physically go in and change those okay but what we'll do for now is go ahead and rename and accept that 33 of those files will not be successfully renamed now what you notice is all of our files that were in this folder have been successfully changed but for those image files okay and we need to remove these temporarily so I'm going to cut those out put them in another just put them outside of the folder for now okay and now I can go back to my renamer and I'm going to go ahead and clear all I'm going to now ought to be able to if we go back to this folder they'd be renamed and I'm going to cut those now and put them back in here knowing that they are going to in fact have problems okay so what you need to physically do now is go through and actually change those names that we have those 33 file names that are the same or duplicate names so you need to physically kind of go in and just manually change these something you know it won't matter too much if it's a second or two off but basically you go through and you do manual changing of all of the names okay so that you have all of the file names in terms of year month day and time. So this is 11.37.16. So if I were to click on this now, right, you see that we have the metadata for the date and the time matching our file name, which is what we want. So the first step is actually renaming, and in the next video what I'm going to do is show you how we go about sorting the data. So, but don't forget, key to all of this is that you, you have to change all of those kind of duplicate names so I might change this one to just three. Okay, something along those lines. Alright, so in the next video we'll show you how to go about sorting this data into different folders. Okay?